have to go home. Well, you missed two days of school already. Well, I brought my books. I'm studying. My grades are a lot better this year. I love, love, love getting away with you. Just us and the babies. It's been so nice. This place is great. I can smell the ocean from here. Please, Mom, let's stay. Maybe we shouldn't have lied. Well, yeah, too. There's no I can't do with my life holiday for moms and daughters. Amy. Mom, as soon as we leave here, we're going to have to go back to our regular lives. You're going to have to take care of Mimsy, and I'm going to have to go back to school. Just one more day. Rest. Okay, look, I'm sorry about last night, but I told you I wasn't going to drink or do any of that stuff. And I told you I wasn't going to sleep with you, so I don't know why you got so upset with me again. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Lauren, don't get upset. What? Uh, you know, sometimes uh, when there's a party... Anyone else remember this TV show? Because my brain just thought about it just now, and uh, here we are starting over from season one. The Secret Life of the American Teenager, fun facts you didn't know you needed, here we go. First up, the iconic Molly Ringwald, who plays Amy's mom, Ann Jurgens, actually sings the theme song of the show called Falling in Love. In case you haven't seen my other videos, I'll just say it again, but Megan Park, who plays Grace Bowman in The Secret Life of the American Teenager, is actually married to Tyler Hilton, who played Chris Keller in One Tree Hill. Also, Shailene Woodley, who plays the lead, Amy Jurgens, was actually only 16 years old in the pilot episode of the show, making her the youngest cast member, and she was actually the only one who was still in high school when the show first premiered. And lastly, there's actually a book called The Secret Diary of Ashley Jurgens, which follows Amy's younger sister Ashley's thoughts and reactions to all the events that occurred during the first and second season of The Secret Life. Be sure to check out my podcast, Not So Critically Acclaimed, with new episodes coming tomorrow. There's a ghost in the I house. I like the way they run and fall and die. I like the way they drop when I'm outside. I like the way. It's ridiculous, Amy. I don't care if you pass some stupid test. I do not want you having sex with him. Again. When do you out of high school and living on your own in your own place, in your own bed, not one that I paid for? And then maybe, maybe it'll be okay. What happened to that stupid book that gave you tips on how to talk to your teenage daughter about sex? I threw it out. I'm gonna write my own book. You see, Dad. The thing about writing your own book is you have to be successful at the thing that you're writing about in order for it to sell. I don't think you're successful at parenting. Just look at me. Or no, look at Ashley. And I'm sick of my whole life being ruined because people keep having babies. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You are being a little too pushy here, Ben. Pushy? For real. You out more when you were pregnant. Yeah, because if you had sex when I was pregnant, I couldn't get pregnant. Everyone forgot my 16th birthday and it stayed with me my whole life. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not very proud of myself. I never should have been sneaking around with Jack. You're right. If it had been me, I just keep going back to your dad until. Trust me. This is his shirt. This is where he left. Oh my 
god, is everyone here for me? I mean, us? Everyone, welcome Mr. and Mrs. Ben Boykovich back to school. Watch your eyes. This is all very nice, but you can't come over. Hey, hey, ow, that hurts. That's what married people do. They have people over. No, I, I don't think married people in high school do that. Not when they're having a baby. 